Big Enos's word is gold. Oh, Watch the Spokey and the Bandit camping out at GameStop waiting for this Xbox. Well, see this, uh, 14 hours, gentlemen here. I need to and ladies. Back. No problem. Go ahead, 14 boy. hours. New car. I gotta have a new car to block for the truck, you know? What is up guys, Tommy here with Sinister Productions bringing you guys another vlog. This is going to be an entirely different kind of vlog, it's something that you guys have never seen on my channel. Well, any of you guys into gaming at all um, knows that there is the PlayStation 5 that's coming out and the Xbox Series X and Series S both coming out. Well, today's the day guys. I did something I never thought I would actually do. There is the Xbox Series X. Still have not unboxed her yet. Wanted to do that on camera with you guys. Um, so that way, we, you know, you get... Really? I wanted to do that with you guys, that way we can kind of, you know, enjoy this together. I have to be honest, I had to stay and camp out at GameStop for 15 hours. That's right, I camped out in front of GameStop for 15 hours to get the Xbox Series X. Um, I've never done that before for any kind of game system or any game or anything like that at all. Um, this... I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it at least once that I wanted to be one of the first ones with the system. Um, they've got a very limited amount of these Xbox Series X's being made and being produced. Um, there's not a whole lot going into stores. The, X, the uh, GameStop where I was at had a total of four, besides the pre-orders, four consoles for each store was apparently set by Microsoft to go to these GameStop stores. So they only provided a few additional. So if you wanted one, you had to pay a price. It's, it's called staying there and, and camping out for 15 hours. I was there at seven o'clock yesterday. Didn't leave till about 10.20 this morning. So, but either way guys, there she is in all her glory. And we're gonna open her up. Here we go. The Xbox Series X from Microsoft. 15 hours of waiting. And here she is. So we're going to open this thing up. Let's see what she looks like. All right, so time to unbox this thing. Ooh. All right, I see. First thing you see when you lift this thing out is it says, Power Your Dreams. All right, so. So we're gonna unwrap this first. And I just dropped the box. So we're just gonna go ahead and open this up now. It's actually a lot smaller than I expected. Wow, 
That is cool. That is pretty cool. There it is. The Xbox Series X in all her glory. The new next generation of gaming console. Right there. I want to bring you guys a little bit closer so you can actually see this. Um, first thing you notice, it's got the nice little green hue at the top. I think it's got something that actually goes in there, if I'm not mistaken. If you look down in there, it's really hard to see, but that's the big fan that goes in the very, very top of this thing. This thing I heard it moves a lot of heat, so. But there is the Xbox. And we're going to turn this thing around. Let's get the little Xbox logo right there. And then we're going to turn around even more. These are the connections it's got on the back. Looks like it's got two USB ports here. Um, obviously, um, Ethernet cable, HDMI, power, and then you've got your storage expansion that basically just plugs in right there. Honestly, I mean, it's not nearly as big as I was expecting. Cool. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna open up the rest of this. You can see the box actually fell on the ground here. So this has some goodies in it. I believe that this is just gonna be the power cable and stuff. Yeah. So this thing does come with a, uh, which cause I guess it's like a high speed or a high input or output HDMI cable to go along with the Xbox Series X and then and of course you've got your power cable plugs right into the back of the Xbox it does come with the carbon black controller which is different than the other controllers um, it's got, I don't know if you can really see it here I'll try to zoom in on it where you can kind of see it's got like a weird texture back here it's pretty nice it's not rubberized but it's got some nice texture back there to help you know make it feel a little bit more you know secure in your hand while you're playing now of course it comes with look at that batteries always need batteries except I use the charging play kit all the time so all right, so we're gonna plug this thing in, give it a shot, see what she looks like. Um, I'm just gonna throw a game in there, probably throw like Need for Speed Heat or Call of Duty or something in there. Show you the menus and then that'll be it, guys. So hold tight, I'm gonna put this thing up and set it up. Be back in a second. All right, so this is always the scary part. Brand new console, never been tested. I'm about to hit the power button. She is hooked up, let's see what happens. Oh, there she is. She's lighting up. Now this is not a 4K TV. This is just the older 3D TV, so... All right, so right off the bat, we're having to update the console. Um, it does say it's about 775 megabytes, which really isn't that bad. I'm gonna go ahead and start update. I did just connect everything to the Wi-Fi. I'm not hooking you up to the wired quite yet, so I'm gonna hold off on that. And uh, it's downloading now. Which it's going pretty quickly, so that's good. I do have a pretty, um, pretty fast internet speed so I do have one gig uh, internet speed so that's probably why but anyway 
this is part of the setup process. And uh, as soon as we get for you know get past this, I'll uh, go ahead and show you the rest. Hold tight. All right, and it looks like the next step is updating your controller also. <clears throat> all right, so we got the Xbox all set up, and I am downloading all of my current stuff from Call of Duty, Need for Speed Heat, things like that. So I'm actually really impressed. Um, I got on Call of Duty Modern Warfare a little while ago, and the resolution, everything looks so much better. Um, I can't really wait to test this thing out. Um, I, don't, I don't have a whole, you know, any really games for it yet. <clears throat> like I said, um, I've had Need for Speed Heat for a little while. I've got Forza, of course, several racing games. Um, and then, like I said, I'm playing uh, Warzone. So, anyway. Alright, guys. Overall impression of the Xbox. It's really cool. Um, unfortunately, I haven't seen a whole lot of difference between the Xbox One X and the Xbox Series X yet. Um, I'm sure it's as powerful as they say it is, but like I said, without, you know, it's day one, without any real games being out for it yet, that is specifically made for this console, it's really hard to test the, the power of it. So, we'll be doing that soon. Keep it tuned here. We'll see you in the next one. Later.